This is FIO FB1, a Bluetooth IEM with Qualcomm APTX support. Let's have a look, shall we? So this is FIO FB1, FIO's latest IEM with Bluetooth capabilities. Inside the box we find a small carrying pouch, the IEM itself and besides some paperwork the extra bundle different types of ear tips and ear hooks. Yes, ear hooks with different size dedicated for sports activities to give more secure fit and comfort. I find the biggest hook for me the best option. It feels really good, no ear fatigue and fits firmly without worrying to fall out. Perfect for running or similar activities. Speaking of design, this IEM is inspired by the famous Deviolent Phantom Gold. It is nowhere mentioned by FIO, but I'm pretty sure about it. Besides these additional accessories, we get a small micro USB cable for charging. The full charging takes around 2 hours, whereas the battery life is promised at an almost 8 hours of constant music listening. This battery life is quite accurate, at more than volume level I was able to reach around 7.5 hours. The built-in 4.1 module promises a fair distance at around 10 meters, which is also accurate. The Qualcomm APTX support gives the option to provide better audio quality over Bluetooth, which is a huge deal. Sadly, since it's a Qualcomm exclusive technology, it is not supported by Apple devices. One more thing to mention and worth uh, to talk about is the delays during video watching. There's absolutely none, so you don't have to worry about watching YouTube or any other kind of movie from your smartphone. You will have zero delays, no lip sync issue at all. Oh, and no issue during gameplay as well. Huge thumbs up for that. Now let's talk about the sound quality. Should I say surprisingly it sounds pretty good? It's the FIO product, so obviously quality is a priority, but usually wireless audio is not always famous about the good sound stage. Well, the FIO FB1 is really that good. Bass is just right, highs are bright, but not too bright, so ear fatigue is not an issue. Mid's a bit weak, so we can see here an almost standard V shape, regardless of the sound characteristic. Usually I experience with almost every single Bluetooth unit a very low quiet hiss sound during idle mode. Here we have the same experience but with a more settled variant. Not disturbingly loud to annoy me but worth to mention. During playback you will notice none for sure. So as for verdict this is a Bluetooth IEM for $40. Is it worth it? Simply yes. Not because I say so but because it is really that good and worth every penny. As always, if you have any questions regarding this product, uh, just uh, ask it in the comment section below and we'll try to answer all of them. And also, if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel to bring you more awesome tech reviews for you. Thank you and have a nice day.